Hey everyone, this is Matteo Vig with the ctwinereview.com and I'm here once again at Southington Wine and Spirits with Francois Pages. Uh, we've got some fantastic wines, Francois. Thank you, merci beaucoup. Santé. Santé. Yeah. Cheers. Um, tell us about these wines that, uh, I just tasted this rosé, uh, it's fantastic. Um, I mean, it's the beginning of rosé season and um, tell us about this rosé because I love so, it. Something about this rosé and I think it's very important to understand the, the study of the rosé is the area where it does came from. Actually, Costier de Nîmes, the appellation, is just between Rhône and Provence. And when you taste the wine, you have both of these two areas. So the blend is 70% Syrah, 30% Grenache Noir, and on the nose, you have this very fruity, juicy expression of, uh, of the Rhone Valley. So it's like strawberry, raspberry, yeah. uh, cherries. And then when you take in mouth, you have a lot of volume, it's still very juicy, and then step by step, you have the acidity that comes right. through. And then it will be more like the style of Provence. So it's like rich, round, fruity, but still with this touch of acidity that makes your palate very fresh and, and very clean. So it's a good compromise between these two beautiful uh, areas, like the south of Rhone and the uh, and Provence. I mean, it's, it's beautifully well balanced. I was shocked, what I was most shocked at is to see this 13% alcohol in this, which you do not, it, it doesn't come close to that. It's so smooth and so refreshing. Yeah, and I think and you alcohol, when you look at alcohol, uh, there's like no that, heat. There's no heat there. Yeah, it's, it's a question of balance. I yeah. taste wine which were like 15% alcohol yeah. and still taste like very fresh Excellent. and very balanced. Yeah. And I taste all the, wines, all the wine at 12 and they were just unbalanced. So if you have high level of alcohol, but good acidity, yeah. still some fruit, you have a wine which is very, very fresh. Right, and, w and what, um, obviously this is a great pairing with seafood, but what, what do you like? What, what, would you, what would you pair this uh, with? The in, uh, good thing with, uh, with rosé is that you cannot make mistakes when you pair it with, with food. So I think I will try more to pair it with what you eat when you drink rosé, which is mainly yeah. in spring and, and, and summer, which would be like light uh, fresh salad with melon, very tasty. It's yeah. perfect with uh, fish, white fish, sea bream, yeah. sea bass, but also like uh, if you like tuna, this kind of things. Right. And everything grilled would be perfect. Off the grill, yeah, yeah. off the grill. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a bit of red, like tomatoes or red pepper, yeah. gazpacho, it's, it's phenomenal. All right, let's try the, let's try the uh, Syrah. So the other one. Like the way I said that, I said Syrah. You said Syrah. It's my little French accent today. No, but that's good. And we had this discussion before. Because for me, there is Shiraz and, and Siha. And even if it's the same grapes, it's two different uh, expressions. Shiraz yeah. will be like modern, a lot of right. fruit, very rich, very powerful. Yeah. Siha is more like uh, the European uh, way. It's yeah. dry, it's more spices than fruit. Mm -hmm. And the definition of the wine is in mouth is very long. Yeah. Let's say when the Shiraz, Shiraz will be big, the Siha will be like very long and very uh, linear. Uh, tell me about the name. 1753 is uh, it's not the date of the creation of the estate because we know that it's much older. Yeah. But on the paper, it's the oldest document we found at the winery. Uh, and the document was just written exactly like that with the seven and the big legs with the stem. So it's like the oldest written proof that we were making wine in, uh, in Chateau de in 1753. We know that it's much, much older. But at least on the paper, we can we can prove that yeah. uh, it's 1753. What and what is the production? What's the production? Uh, this is uh, actually it's one tank because this one we, we we want to to to, to show uh, what the composition is, is about. So it's one tank and it would be like 25,000 bottles. Okay. The idea behind this wine is to show exactly what is our terroir and our uh, soil uh, is about. So there is no oak aging. That mm -hmm. means we make the fermentation in uh, stainless steel, and then we put the wine right uh, away in, in butter. So the nose will be a right. lot of black olive, a uh, lot of spice, white pepper, a yeah. uh, touch of violet, and in mouth, what I told you before, it's not yeah. full body, it's still no. rich. There is a lot but of concentration, but no, no extraction. There's a nice weight right now for this time of year as well. It's not too, too dense, not too big, it's very, but it's really, this is something of course you can have all year round. You can have it all year round, but, but it's in, in still not uh, too big for the summer. As not well. too big it's for very nice because you get something a bit dry uh, yeah. at the at the end of the palette, and, and you don't feel like uh, you need a glass of right. water after after yeah. yeah. 
best uh, food with that for me obviously it's lamb yeah with rosemary with beans uh, it goes with all red meats barbecue and it's also nice with uh, with white meat yeah he had, imagine this there's definitely a lot of um <coughs> i get a lot of that olive olive you know that black olive kind of hint of it not not over the top but a little spice um lamb would be a fantastic pairing uh, with this for sure. I mean, off the grill, things off the even a burger. I know it's not very yeah, French, yeah. but but a it's burger off things. the grill, I mean this, you know, maybe. So you know what my first thing when I arrive in America? What? I have to eat a burger. Do you? I love it. Where, I, I where never, though? I never eat a burger. I go in, in just a, a proper steakhouse. A proper uh, steakhouse, yeah. not McDonald's. Not <laughs> because we have McDonald's in France and I, I don't go there. But, but what's the McDonald's like in France? Do you, go, do you, have, do you compare the McDonald's? In France, to McDonald's. Uh, you will be proud of your McDonald's in France because they are look, they are all look very clean, very professional. But the McDonald's in France, when they have pictures of the burgers, do they actually look like? They probably look more like the burgers. No. Uh, they are just like very. Very. It's the, okay, so it's no, the same. No it's the no, same no, exactly. in France, basically. Yeah, no, it's the same. No, no. That's yeah. why I love the burger in America because. because you get it, but so you when he's here, he goes for a real burger. Yeah. At. That's so it would be this would be a very good burger. burger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So sure. enjoy your uh, burger and yes. uh, enjoy the wine. Yes, Francois, thank you so much. Okay. All right. Wines are fantastic and uh, thank you. they're great. Thank you. Cheers, everyone.